early. Somehow never prepared for these restreams, no matter how early I wake up, start preparing. I was sitting here for like an hour beforehand, watching Hustley play. Oh, it looks like they both start at the same time. Let's go. Making it easy. You love to see it. Adam Ferrari, welcome into the chat room. It's indeed an early morning for the CCG. Yeah. It's like 6 p.m. for me right now, so it isn't early for me. Yeah, hopefully uh, as Cool Cat Gang Industries ramps up a little bit, we get some more restreamers. We can uh, have some more EU applicable streams. I know uh, Tansto was kind of complaining about it a while ago. I think Pods was too, especially with like the community races. Speaking of community races, we gotta get some more of those going on. We're gonna be starting off this first race here, hopping out of the pipe. Pretty close to synced, I'm just gonna let it fly here. We'll see how the Lactu skip goes. Um, oh, both are not cutting it. Rough. You hate to see it. Well, we'll really, uh, one of the more interesting parts about the main bracket compared to, uh, the qualifiers we've been watching is that there's a lot more opportunity for that LBLJ route, which we only saw to one racer in the qualifier, but Cringe going well, straight TGK for it. Going for LBLJ. How much does it save? It saves about 25 oh. to 30 seconds. Depends on what strats you end up going for. Um. But he is inside, into Dark World. Feels amazing, man. Gonna be opting to go for the harder route. Some harder stars coming up though. Probably gonna be doing side hop, pillarless. Um, I would guess to see a triple box jump in HMC, which are all strats that can trip you up and kind of negate that time save possibility. Yeah, slightly, slightly easier strategy. A little bit more consistent than uh, LBLJ, but still nice to see. TJK taking the big birth around the icicle there which is always good to know uh good to see taking it easy not going for any hard half cycle movement which in a race is pretty comfy link is going for like a harder setup and that's it nice isn't it like a super like at least for me that setup is super inconsistent if you saw me? Is he going for texture? I wasn't looking, I'm gonna be really honest. Yeah. <laughs> texture, honestly I think it is more reliable than sock folder. Sock folder if you do the plank push strategy, I, I've heard it is hundred percent consistent, but I don't know. I, I really don't think any cannonless setup is gonna be hundred percent. And textures mm. is so much faster. And Quinn's uh, messed up, froze a little bit, so he had to, like, no. Yeah, definitely so had to. Like... Definitely had to utilize that rage camera. It's kind of necessary. If you mess up in this game, you got to start spamming the R button. <laughs> yeah, first try LBLJ is definitely a huge boost. It basically puts you in the driver's seat. If you don't mess up for the rest of the race, it's really, really hard for your opponent to come back. Although, Mr. Link is playing on emulator, so he'll have a little bit uh, faster times here overall, just from that, avoiding a bunch of lag. I believe loading times are faster on emulator. I'm not sure. I know VC is quite a bit faster with loading times, but not sure about emulator. I think in 16, um, emulator saves 10 seconds of uh, OG and he sees this 15 seconds. Of yeah, the it all depends so though, you know, what kind of strats you're going for. We're not going to see perfectly optimized uh, movement or strats out of either of these runners. So, it, it, I mean, perfect lag reduction on 64, probably about 10 seconds. But cringe, TJK taking a fall here on Canalus, going for that texture setup. Not uh, hitting those inputs correctly, and it's easy to do when you're trying to go fast on texture to just accidentally kind of drop like that. No, Adam, there are no handicaps in this tournament. I would really like to see uh, 
like a tournament edition mod come out for this game where you have like an in-game timer to compare times with like over the course of the route um, as well as a couple other things but fortunately i'm not a ace level programmer i'm no kaz mnar Ooh, and tjk taking a tumble we just finished Bomb's Fortress and getting and waking up the all real time. Heading into um, CCM and Cringe failing um, Catalyst for like the second time. Cringe failing, Mock S, never heard of it. I'm attempting my best to be unbiased here, Mr. Link, an ex-Cool Cat member. And member of one of the strongest games on the planet. Cringe is pretty powerful, though. The Coalition of Runners and Next Generation Esports, one of the longest names in the history of any gamer gang on the planet. I think that's kind of the point. Kind of, kind of manka though when you get those like five letter acronyms in your clan tag and then it takes up half of your player banner, half of your name on the screen. <clears throat> I would be very afraid if someone like that drunken dwarf uh, joined a team like that. They'd have like size 12 font on the screen. Wouldn't be able to read it at all. Yeah, I did see that, Adam. Pretty poggers. I'm going for Columbus on fails it. Wait, was it fourth place in any percent? Wasn't that a while ago we got fourth percent? I think I got fourth place in neutral. Was it any percent? I'm not gonna lie, I'm very unknowledgeable about Undertale. I've never even played the game. The only time I've ever watched it is during the Kabam uh, tournament and on Mr. Link's screen. So those are the only two times I've seen the game at all. Never played Undertale. I'm about to get booted from my own tournament right now. Undertale is a good game, but I'm not a fan, not not really a fan of RPGs, and I refunded it to buy something for my um old setup for N64 and stuff. TJK grabbing a pretty nice Tama, having a little bit of issues with the ground pound into the pyramid, but really no complaints there. Getting a Tama plus in a speedrun race uh, is very very reassuring, I can assure you. Although. Never had that experience personally, Tama Plus. Too hard for my peanut brain. Oh, man, you hate to see it. No, TJK struggling on top of the pyramid start. No, he's going the wrong direction. Oh, man. Right after you nail a Tama Plus or something as difficult as that, and then you mess up something like top of the pyramid start, it's just... That reassurance is out the window now. Link, got the nice. Throckled Reds, not very, really, um, it's like a beginner Throckled, but clean. Let's see how this Bowser toss goes. Pretty big wind up, but a good connection, so no complaints for me. TJK going for those red coins, opting for the free star first. Gonna knock it out of the way. Gotta get Bully, gotta get uh, Side Hop, and then probably Elevator Star. We'll see what he chooses. I think if he goes into basement now, he had a pretty nice Dark Yeah, honestly, not too far behind right now. He's got nine stars, TJK holding eight in his pocket. Bit of a burn out of TJK on the side hop, but backing it up with the standing movement, not bad. And we're all tied up here pretty much in basement. <clears throat> yeah. Some pretty fast stars coming out here uh, from both players coming up. TJK going to the elevator star here, unless he opts to go for some sort of ultra fast lava boost, but I really doubt it. I think like they're like tired right now, even though of the route changes, but they're like oh no! Really close. Oh, and he doesn't make the re grab onto the elevator. That's a very stressful star to fail. Yeah. TJK, I was gonna say he was already potentially a little bit behind, considering he has to go for the bully star, which is pretty long, and Mr. Link doesn't. But 
TJK falling and taking a death on the elevator tour. It's like... Uh, Link is like definitely ahead of TJK, no? Yeah, I definitely agree on that one to real memes. Welcome into the chat room, gamer. Sync tending to level end here, but Mr. Link only has to collect this red coin star, TJK. Gonna need to grab the bully. Hopefully you're not gonna cause any problems for him. It can be a little bit stressful. Okay, getting a good ledge cancel. Ooh, not quite getting the kill there, but not bad. Should hit these long jumps, no issues. Had a bunch of slices of pie anyways. Two thirds of his pie is still completed, so not a real big threat of death there. We're gonna be one star behind heading into HMC, and triple box jump isn't a slouch star. Oh no, it looked like it was good, but not gonna connect. Oh no! No, TJK. Taking another death, and Mr. Link getting that left side emergency exit. Suddenly starting to look pretty tragic from TJK here in the basement. Had a good start with the LBLJ, but all of a sudden it's falling apart. Showing off some flex swag movement potentially here. Going for some interesting dive rollouts. Oh, Go through the bin and doesn't get the triple jump. Yep. Uh, um, nice. Maintaining composure though does end up grabbing the star eventually, not having to back up to the elevator. And Mr. Link getting bopped by a boulder, but can be popping out of Dark World with a sub 12 here, which is not too bad for a race scenario. Champ Pal is here, let's go. Champ Pal gang. Link is like heading into a mess court. I will do shit he just goes into HMC again. But I'm just doing it. Gets the rabbit grab really fast, but hope we will get um let's keep this try. Yep, very clean lineup. Fast. TJK is going to have to pray for some uh, BLJ damage to happen here because this MIPS clip is clean. DDD uh, shouldn't be an issue for Mr. Link, especially considering he's playing on emulator, so no sub lag from him. Oh, TJK going for the dive rollouts again. And, oh, man. I don't know. Is that a standard like movement there? That seems absurdly risky. Like, Does that even potentially save frames? I don't, I don't think so. Okay, yeah, okay. I would let, let's go for like the triple long jump here. Saves one frame. Okay. One frame. Wow. Yeah, I mean that's the sort of movement that I end up doing when I get triggered after dying in HMC, and you know I'm just pressing random buttons. But apparently TJK is a gamer, trying to save a frame. Kind of cringe. I mean it's in in the gamer's name. Standing punch grab from TJK, not bad. Link got a very clean DDD. Link like, going for the pull glitch, but not a clean setup. Having some bad angles, some uh, monk S rollouts, not enough speed. Champal, dedicating his life to the cool cat gang in the chat. I appreciate you, buddy. TJ clipped through, almost through two doors. Oh my god, I'm so scared. Okay, there you go. Oh, nice. Anytime yeah. I'm not holding the controller and I'm watching somebody do the 30 star door, I'm just like, I'm tense. And Link heading into the balls of light and bits. And then fire C. A bit of an interesting strat here to get uh, behind Bowser, but you know, it works. Oh no, and tossing Bowser mm -hmm. off the side. Yeah, I'm using about 20 seconds at least here. 
takes a lot of time to wait for that, uh, bosser. I think it's actually like 12, question mark? I don't know. Not exactly the most optimal gamer I don't know all the times in my head. I'm no Tama. I'm no pillarless man. I'm finishing Fancy going into the Let's see how it goes. Okay, going for the pole glitch. Looks good. I'm getting this, yeah. And super sick pace and fire see you right now for a easy early cycle. Oh my god, okay. Not gonna lie, my blood pressure raised a little bit. Should be totally okay on these elevators, even with the small flub there. Just needs to do... Okay. Yeah, he's been fun. Nice. I was gonna say he needed a dive there, but the wall kick works as well. Mr. Link onto the BLJs. This is where it could start to get dicey, but the connection is good. The BLJs against good. the wall. No, he lost all his speed. He does not have speed. He needs to cancel right now. I, don't, I think he hit the door frame or something. Just colliding with the door incorrectly, but the second connection. No. No. Okay. Yes. That's also it bad. Like a... That's also bad. No, dude. <laughs> Mr. Link, what? Yeah, I definitely think that's the issue here. No buffered BLJs, no no go. All of a sudden, TJK is right behind Mr. Link. Gonna be grabbing the key here and heading up Probably? into the stairs. Yeah, it's not perfect. I, mean, I think he didn't get the BLJ. Nice. Yeah, definitely had enough speed at that point. BLJs are fickle. Even if you are able to get the connection, have a good mash, it's possible to lose your speed quite a few different ways and almost looked like he was attempting to throw there, but finally into the pipe. TJK just now heading upstairs. I'm cool. It's like I'm BLJ. Let's see how the BLJs go for TJ. It doesn't look good. Like it. It's a bit right. Having some troubles on the first set of BLJs. Second connection, not gonna happen. <coughs> That's awesome, Doge. That's good to hear. I think going to save here. It doesn't go like. I think it, the name is left side, I'm not sure. A like wall kick and blood spread. But I don't think, I think. Bits. I don't know the name. Mr. Link, make it pretty good through Sky. I mean, he's into the pipe quite a bit ahead of CJK. Gotta be happy here. But I think Mr. Link's gonna have to turn up the pressure next race. I don't think TJK is gonna be a pushover in race number two. Kind of gamed himself in basement, unfortunately. Yeah, the BLJ is just not coming out for TJK right now. And this looks like it's clean. Does connect finally. I thought that Mr. Link just got that throw, but apparently not. It's one more connection. TJK just needs to connect on any of these stair heads here. Okay, there it is. Whew. Looking like a mid 18 from Link. Yeah, definitely respectful like... time. Yeah. I don't know how long it takes, but I assume you like TJ can get like uh, 20. Never mind. Oh man. And did you still link? TJK taking a bop. Looks like we got a pro gamer in the chat. Calling out some, some noob activity potentially. I don't know if Marcos apparently is uh, the world record holder in 16 star. GG's flying out in the chat for Kabam Esports right now. GG. It's not over yet. We got at least one more match. One more race. And it's looking like I've um, got pits right now from TJ. Yeah, after that unfortunate death at the beginning of the first go around, this one looking quite a bit better and pretty good elevator movement. Something I'm... Oh, getting flattened, oh. though. Not 
sure you mean alt account. This is a uh, cool cat community account. Definitely not my own account. Fake news flying in the chat. AA Ron, though, what is up? TJK into throws here. A little bit behind where he wants to be, though. I, I don't think that TJK expected going into this to be posting a 20, 20 minute time, but throws looking good so far. Really quick tosses. Black Mario is the best Mario. I don't agree. Someone check this man's controller for some sort of a turbo spin button. Those are some insanely fast throws. Gonna be finishing off with a 2038 or so, it looks like. Think. Yeah. yeah. Very nice run by both runners. Unfortunately, TJK having a little bit of troubles in match run, but got at least one more game, as I was saying, to go. Hopefully, we can see TJK redeem himself here. Not an alt account, same emotes. I don't know what you're talking about. Sounds like fake news to me. Go ahead and get restarted here, get the files deleted, and it looks like we're ready to get into the next one. Unless anybody needs a break here, we'll double check with the racers. It's like Kabam, Mr. Link, just gonna be taking a few speed kicks in the moat. Always a good strat. Prepares you for pretty much everything in the game. Not sure if anything else is really worth practicing. Mario Meltdown from Kabam Esports. I don't think it can happen. Kabam Esports is one of the most elite gamer gangs on the planet. But we'll see. We're heading to the second match now. Second match, sorry. I think it's the best of three, yeah. Yeah, all matches in the group stages, as well as most of the uh, main bracket games, are going to be best of three, <laughs> except for uh, Grand Finals. It's me, Mario! Alright, getting into this. Getting them synced up here pretty good. Match number two. Will we see another first try BLJ? I will be LJ out of TJK. I don't know. It's uh, something hard to do in one race, let alone two in a row. Mm. And I mean, down one one race already. Might want to go just for the standard non-LBLJ route, perhaps. Definitely a bit safer. I know I've watched a lot of 16-star tournaments, and... Even at a really high level, when you start getting down to players with 15 minute times, um, going for the non-LBLJ route in races seems to be the dominant play, but we'll see what they opt to go for here. Um, I'm getting the Lakita script, but okay. is it um, getting a uh, red script here? TJK played it risky there. It looked like he was going to try to do the backup, where you kind of like hop along the edge sideways, which... The chance of moting there is super, super high, but managing to avoid it, going to be heading into the LBLJ now. Into the column. No instant long jump. Ooh, and popping out. Going to be going for it again. This is where it starts to get scary, especially when you're down a match. Instant long jump is good. And doing a very safe and slow mash, ensuring that he gets just the right amount of speed. And into Dark World, so TJK proving that he... Knows how to use the Mario controller, but not proving that he knows how to uh, walk through a trap door, unfortunately. This was like a second trap I would be able to. So pretty good. Yeah, it's not bad, but I would say combined with the fact that, you know, having a little bit of malfunction on the Z button, doing some ground pounds in the Dark World entrance, bonking in the column, I mean, most of the time save is pretty much lost here. 
which means he, not only does TJK have to play perfectly in order to be in the lead, they have to play perfectly to be tied. So it's going to be very difficult for TJK to pull this one out. And Mr. Link pulling out a pretty clean Canalus, so not making it easy for TJK. TJK getting a very, very clean Dark Rogue rest. Ooh. With the double firsties at the end. Shout out to AA Ron in the chat, popping off of the 23, sub 20 coming soon, I believe. Hmm. Wings, um, one right now looks very clean, like, I never, like, really saw a mistake, like, the bomb through, like, this group, and a really clean bomb for this right now. Yeah, definitely not making enough mistakes to uh, make TJK feel comfy by any stretch of the imagination. Um, but having to go for some slow stars here. Womp King, not a quick star at all. So we'll uh, end up losing him some time in routing, but again, with the troubles from Cringe, TJK starting out, it's not really that big a deal for Mr. Link, honestly. Does end the fight right on the star though, which is always nice and comfy. And TJK right behind Mr. Link now in Womps. Sitting at a bit of a star deficit, but Womps Fortress, or excuse me, Dark World is complete, which is a big deal, but trying to go meet the little pushy block boys. I, I don't know what they're called. If someone in the chat knows what those little uh, peekaboo dudes are names. Very curious. He gets. A clean cut of us. I think they should be called Wallies. I think it's a good name. Mm. I think the link is ahead, though, but I'm not sure because he has to do the uh, Yeah, it's probably about tied at this point still. Double jump Alice from TJK. I don't know if we saw I'm that before, funny. but that's pretty sick. I did practice before the first one he got it, I think. Like, doing it again. Okay. No, second try. Definitely not easy. Yeah, not too bad. I think... I would say that probably matches taking the owl. Maybe a little bit slower with the bonk, but double jump owl is pretty fast. Yep. <laughs> Excuse me. Dying over here. Yeah, my, my only advice to you, Aaron, is if you're having issues going into wet dry world, just don't angle yourself left. If you see Mario angled left, just stop. Just stop. Never BLJ to the left. Unless you know, like, the angle's really, really good and you're confident that the angle is okay. But with the 23 minute time, um, yeah, just angle yourself either right or straight up. You'll be you'll be fine. In chat, in him too. It's, um, as a soul, I hope it isn't that, that bad as his race before this. Because he messed up like almost everything. But looking like a good Lolo. I'm confused. It looked like he was going for Tama with Tama Plus, and then ended up uh, having to back it up to Normal Plus, unless. I mistaken myself with taking the fall of shame. TJK having some struggles today. I think um, TJK is a little bit ahead now. Or maybe he's still tired. Uh, yeah, Aaron, I would highly suggest not doing that. Especially at your level. The only way that saves time is if you do pro cycle in. Um, Lost Fortress, and then it, even then it saves one second optimally to cast the movements harder. Um, pretty much everything is more difficult. Tizium has like, like two really fast stars and I think hundreds and reds in six insert is just like really Mr. slow. <gasps> Taking a burn. Yeah, the only people I've seen go for that, uh, Hundred coins and reds and wamps is like punk A in tournament race where he's just memeing and that's about it. I don't believe world record does it, even though it's considered theoretically faster. 
Could be wrong. I don't watch a lot of world record attempts for non OBLJ. And Mr. Link taking another burn in Dark World. I think cringe TJK is definitely ahead at this point. Yeah. Oh my god, going for some speed kicks on the puzzle. Ended up making it into a slow kick though, taking a burn. Dark World Reds is very powerful. Mr. Link missing a coin here, having to turn it back around and run the amp gauntlet again. How would you like to see? I've been eating the wall jump and it looks like a very, very good um, race from TJK. Like, I think the only mistake he really did is the one in red and the LVLJ. I didn't saw any other. And yeah, the oldest too. Forgot about that. Yep, sitting at nine stars here in Lava Land. Mr. Link as well with the nine stars, but having to do this Bowser fight, a little bit of cast movement behind, as well as uh, TJK about to collect one more star here. This having a bit of nerves. You, you can see the nerves coming out of TJK there on those elevators. I'm sure when he's doing PB attempts, um, taking it much, much less safe. But after taking a death on the last run, I really don't blame TJK for that at all. And Link finishing a bad dark world because like he, he died like two three times and I don't know, not really good reps. And which is like definitely like one minute ahead or something like that. Like about that. And Oh my god! Dang. TJ K what was that? that? <laughs> Oh my the lord. Never saw that the moment. Pushing the bully onto the platform. The bully will eventually melt and die. Oh my god, TJK. This is dicey here. He's got two slices of pie and they had to take another death. Oh no. TJK falling apart in Lava Land. I think yeah, like Link is not in like not like 10, 20 seconds behind right now. Um, sure. Maybe less. Yeah, Link definitely is not too far behind it anymore whatsoever. Two deaths on Bully. Oh my god. Playing with my heart a little bit. Please take it easy on these stairs. Okay, gonna full on long jump. Almost paying the ultimate price, but no ledge grabs in sight. Um, didn't think. Oh, never mind. JK perhaps just trying to make this interesting. Mr. Link going for the talons there, not going for the comfy camera at the end. He'll be playing a little bit risky for potentially no reason, but TJK going for the long jumps, thank god, in HMC. I don't want to see any more deaths out of the TJK if at all possible. I'm getting a triple jump. Massive. This song. Massive bonk. I'm just painting the ground pump. Getting into the wrong spot. And weird rats from Link. Is that like a side trip there? Yeah, Reds is one of those stars where you really shouldn't be losing time in races, but we've seen a lot of uh, red mishaps so far today. Maybe maybe a little bit underestimation from that star. And a long jump into HMC from TJK. Questionable. Definitely losing a couple uh, a couple of frames, maybe potentially even a couple of seconds there. Long term looks like very slow. I think it's like a kick there. No, it's not a kick, I don't know the name. I think it's the fastest is literally right just now. doing a single jump in there. At least like yeah. reasonably, maybe there's some other movement that I don't that I don't know, perhaps doing it a kick or something, some sort of weird buffered kick is faster, but I don't think slide kick yeah, is faster. I think people do it, but I'm pretty sure it's slower. It's not too fast too. I think we'll jump too. 
A lot of he, sh he said, she said, unfortunately, uh, in the Mario 64 speedrunning community in terms of which is faster, what's faster. Kind of like the whole emergency exit left and right, but Mr. Link, gonna get bouldered here. Making some nice moves, avoiding the boulder. Getting a ledge grab at the end, but we'll be ending HMC with slightly worse time than last time. Grabbing the, not grabbing the maps. Like, but still getting it. Yeah, not a big deal. Just grabbing at the end of the hallway. It's a bit slower, but as long as you're not chasing MIPS around uh, the entirety of the basement, like we saw out of Man Mud yesterday, uh, you're doing pretty good. Ooh, nice. The punch through the door. I'm not sure if that's intentional. I'm not sure how to do that intentionally, like, semi-consistently. The reclaim MIPS clip from TJ. Especially with the punch. And Link getting it also, like, second, no, first try. I, the first go. I think it's like a combination of you have to have Mips kind of like further to the right than initially where you can drop him in the door. And then you also have to have Mario angled slightly right, but I'm not sure. It's definitely an interesting little optimization. What's in DDD? DDD is like the most boring stage, unless you do front drop. Nobody goes with some front sub in this race. It looks like really hard. Aaron, I pretty much will let anybody commentate as long as they know a decent amount about Mario and they just speak up in the Discord, so just do that and you're good. Put out a, a desperation call pretty much every day and TJK going for this uh, full glitch. Yeah, a little bit off on the lineup. Not a big deal. A mysterious uh, ground pound. Not sure what's up with that. And Mr. Link 2K in Fire Sea. This is going to be close. If Mr. Link can get a clean fast cycle here, uh, it shouldn't be too big of a deficit for him at this point. We'll see what happens, though. TJK having to wait for these LDs. And it looks... No! Mr. Link! What? No. Like, this is... Getting this is, like, very rare, I think. Like... I think Ouija or SRD getting that. It's a lot more common than you might think, um, especially if you're not respecting the upside down pyramids. But Mr. Link having no respect. Perhaps looked like he wanted to try a pole glitch there, but gonna end up going for some monk ass movement instead. Gonna get late elevators, which isn't too bad, but um, with that death, it does make it. No, my god! <laughs> it almost happened again. Didn't get the wrong one, hmm. Oh man. Mr. Link. Melting down in Fire Sea. TJK gonna be heading up onto BLJs. We saw TJK struggle with that last race. A little bit of glitchy Mario action coming out of Mr. Link's emulator right now. Not sure what's up with that. I don't think I've ever seen emulator flash in that particular fashion. Oh, and the ground pounds are just flying out of the controller from TJK today. It's definitely the, not over. The there. HUD in the emulator SM64 looks like so ugly. Like, I don't know how people can really play with this. Yeah, this, black for it policy. is pretty ugly. If you use Glide, the graphics plugin Glide instead of uh, Jabo, it looks way better, but a lot of people will just say on Jabo, I'm not sure why. Perhaps it has some sort of benefit. I don't think so. It just looks like way out there. Getting a plug in takes like two minutes. TJK Long is struggling on BLJs, and Mr. Link is heading upstairs now, just about to catch up. TJK having a meltdown. You can definitely be ahead if TJ keeps not getting it. Yeah, I mean, oh, yeah. one of the issues here is TJK is not hitting that first step uh, quite accurately, and I think that's making it quite a bit harder for him here. Suddenly we're on a BLJ competition. Yeah, getting the uh, BLJ, uh, I mean BLJ, and this, uh, no. That's cool. And the BLJ Olympics in full force, and TJK flying up the stairs looked like a bit of a lunar mash there, about one mash per minute, but managing to... Make it connect either way. 
The first way we'll Jason Link in the end of this deal. Nelson. Entering bits. I think if TJ gets it, yeah, fast now it will be like very close because I think TJ is the more risky threat in the game. Yeah, but Mr. Link's not um, taking any any risks here and yeah. definitely has a lead. Uh, my only concern for Mr. Link, honestly, is the Bowser throws. TJK looks like a bit of a monster on the Bowser throws and Mr. Link uh, had some issues in the last race, so we could see a turnaround in Bowser 3. Gonna go for these pole, uh, these style kicks, rather. Pole strat. Ooh, and TJK taking a bonk. Oh, like, very close, no but It depends on flows, honestly. If, like, a link, this is one flow, I think. We're still ahead, but only for, like, two to three seconds. So. Yeah, and TJK making up with that. Oh, okay, the ledge grab. Triple jump wall kick was good, though, so definitely save a bit of time. Not really in Bowser's turn. Throws connection. God, Mr. Link. Second throw is good. No amount of God throws could save TJK now unless Mr. Link misses this final toss, and he does miss that final throw. TJK. It's With the turbo playing, toss. Right? But I don't think so. He's got to get this yeah. last throw. One more chance. Okay. Mm, and a nice. missed throw from TJK. It's going to seal the deal here for the race and the series. Mr. Link going to be walking away with the victory today. Feels amazing, man. Did you turn? Getting the W. Getting it. Yeah, taking a match with the 1909. Not something I was expecting to see early on in the qualifiers, but definitely a decent time. Getting anytime you get a sub 20 in a race, I feel like you should be happy, regardless of your level. Unless maybe you're Aki, and then you're probably beating yourself up a little bit, but really not too big of a deal. TJK gonna be finishing it up here with their own sub 20, which is quite respectable. 40, well, 45. Doing a cheeky kick double jump into the star. Mr. Link getting the W. Yeah, taking on the win today. I believe the first uh, match in the group, unless I'm messing something and they're in the same group as Man Mud Mind Lover, but I don't believe so. I have to take a look at the brackets in a little bit. And we'll see if these gamers want to hop in for an interview here. Just hop into a voice channel and we'll get you in here, Mr. Link and TJK. Mr. Link, what is up? Congrats on your victory. How do you feel? Uh, I feel alright. I mean, I played better than I thought. I didn't play good, but I played all right. The second race was kind of sloppy, but the first one was all right. Yeah, definitely some Monkos moments all around. Going for the uh, non-LBLJ definitely paid off. I think it's a good strat, especially uh, early on in the tournament. No real reason to risk it for the biscuit, unless maybe you're playing Man Mud or something. Yeah, definitely pretty safe. Although I must say, um, yeah, I had some troubles in Dark World. Uh, that's about all that I can really say about your races that I was a little bit concerned about. The burns yeah. on the second red was pretty tragic. 
Dude, the fire sea actually got me so angry. Like I, I was like, <laughs> oh man, easy early cycle right here. Yeah, I was, I was hyping up your early cycle. I was like, man, if he gets early cycle here, he's gonna catch up. These elevators and TJK <laughs> are so slow. And then you just like immediately dove underneath the pyramid. And I was like, no, dude, are you kidding me? I thought I died again. Yeah, me too. I, I thought you had done the same exact mistakes twice, twice in a row. But luckily, pulling it together there. I'm not sure where TJK is. TJK looking like they wanted to interview, but I don't see them in the channel. Do have plenty of time though before the next match. Got about an hour, I think, so we'll probably end up going off um, for now in a little bit. Join join any voice channel, not not the locked one. This one's locked, so people can't just hop in mid-race and say, like, poo-poo pee-pee. Go ahead and take a look at the groups here a little bit. A little bit mock ass, you got two Kabam boys in group B. Mr. Link, how do you feel about going up against uh, Flixer in the future? Oh, I'm gonna get destroyed. That's why. That's why I need to win these. Uh, <laughs> <two races. laughs> yeah, top two from each group gonna be moving on, so definitely have a chance here. I uh, just have to keep playing like you're playing. TJK, what's going on, gamer? Hey, what's going on? Not much. Uh, how do you feel about your performance in your races today? Well, it's it went about as well as I expected, honestly. Like, I love how with my gameplay you can't tell if I'm good or bad, because I'll get pole glitch, and then I'll spend too many BLJs. Like. Yeah, the BLJs were pretty tragic, I'm not gonna lie, I was feeling for you a little bit there. But uh, committing to the LBLJ route in both races was a uh, pretty big pog. Definitely shout yeah, out I to mean, you for that. I haven't done uh, no LBLJ for a while, and I'm not, I haven't practiced those other stars really, so I might as well just do this, I thought. Yeah, do you, do you run like 70 or anything, or are you mostly just a 16 gamer? I'm mostly just a X cam single star person. Oh, got gotcha. ya. Yeah, pretty cringe, but... I mean, ref yeah, the team, I suppose. Yeah, I, are, I am on the team. I have to do something cringe, or else they won't let me stay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I do think that is a definite um, expectation. How do you feel about the rest of your group, though? Hero, uh, Flixer, both those players, uh, do you, are you worried about playing on them at all? Oh uh, yeah, I'm worried a little bit. Um, I'm definitely not going to beat Flixer. He's been popping off lately, like in 16, and he just recently got a 49 and 70, so... I don't see myself beating him, but I might have a chance against Hero. We'll see what happens, I guess. Yeah, Hero being the 26th seed in the tournament with the 1912, but I think Hero is the most staunch 16 hater I know in existence. So kind of uh, nerfing himself on his PB a little bit by not doing any runs. Mm -hmm. I see. But uh, yeah, appreciate you guys coming in for interviews. Appreciate you pulling off some pretty epic gameplay today. And yeah, hopefully we can see some more matches out of you guys soon. Yeah, yeah. GG's. GG's. And shoutouts uh, to Zwy as well for popping in for comms. Um, huge shoutouts to anybody who pops in for comms. It's kind of a thankless job, but I really do appreciate it. Try to shout you guys out as much as possible. And uh, yeah, we got a match coming up at 11 a.m. Pacific, so in about an hour. Uh, if you guys want to stick around for that, we're actually going to raid somebody right now. I don't know if either of you guys are going to continue streaming. No, I'm getting off. Uh, I'll continue streaming. Alright, sounds good. We'll go ahead and raid TJK then. And yeah, we will see you in TJK's stream. Come back at 11 a.m. Pacific though. I'll post it on the Twitter uh, as well as in the Discord. So if you don't follow Twitter, uh, do it. Shameless uh, self-promotion here. I think that's legal. But yeah, that'll be it from us guys. And I will see gamers at 11. Alright.